I got this I got a prostate cancer and I went up there and the doctor said I want to show you something so he had it all blowed up on the wall big aneurysm my aorta had blowed all up and it was just ready to bust he said we can't do a thing for your cancer until we can take care of this he said I suggest you go over to the hospital right now and I'll follow you over <clears throat> that's how much an emergency it was so I went over there and they called it pre-op they put me in a hospital bed nurses came in and started giving me medicine and everything and it was clear the next day before they operated but he said uh, the irony of that is this cancer generally takes a life in your case it saved yours but I was I was actually scared of death. I was scared of dying. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to. And I was up there by myself. And Alta was back here and didn't know a thing about it, you know. I finally did call her and tell her what was happening, you know. But I, the next morning they went ahead and operated on her. And when I got out of there, I come home and I told Grandma, we got to go to church. I said, you know, I, I was afraid of dying. Scared. So... We decided to start going to church, and we tried different churches, but we decided on this one down here because it's closer, made it mostly the reason. And I knew more people in this church than somewhere else, which is as good a reason as any, I guess. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I like this church, and and they have eight communions, eight different things, you know, that one more than most churches have. And uh, I've been going there pretty, pretty regular, regular as you can go, you know, for all these years. And I, we started sitting in a certain seat, and we still sat in the same place. Somebody looks up, sitting there, talking to somebody, and I come in, they jump up and move over. They, <laughs> I'm sitting in there. That's your spot. in my spot. You know. mm -hmm. but anyway, that's how it happened. That was, by, that was God's purpose. To, to, that was one of the God's purposes of why what happened to me did mm -hmm. and now then it's so I would really be in a pickle now knowing I'm going to die and uh, be in the shape I was and be afraid like I was now I'm not I'm not afraid of dying at all like Chris said the dying you know between that the time I now I'm dying is is a hard time you know after I die I think everything's all settled Whatever God's purpose for me is, is the way it's going to be.